Hi, my name is Julie Beenstra, and I'd like to talk a little bit about why healthy habits are so important and why it's so important to take action consistently with developing those healthy habits so that we can become the person that we really want to become. First of all, how can you develop healthy habits to become the person that you want to become? It's really important to train every muscle in your body to help you develop the skills that you need to become, again, the person that you want to become. So we talk about training your brain, but we're actually going to talk about tricking your brain. So your brain wants to keep you in a state of comfort. Uh, if, if you get into a place where you're fearful or you're uncomfortable or something just feels like just too much work, you know, just does not feel good to you, your brain is actually going to try to convince you to stop. Don't go there because your brain is there to protect you. Your job is to trick your brain and to help it expand your area of comfort. How do you do that? Well, Mel Robbins has a really great trick for that. If you've ever read her book, Five Second Rule, she says, do it before your brain can talk you out of it. So first thing in the morning, if you really want to get up, wash your face, have some quiet time, get a workout in, there's certain things that you want to get done because you know that's how you really want to start your day. Those are your intentions. Well, when you're laying in bed, your brain might be saying, no, it's cold out there. No, we don't really want to do that. No, you're going to get sore. You know, you just give all these reasons. And so you stop and you think yourself out of it. So what Mel Robbins says is don't think. Act before your brain can talk you out of it. So count down five four, three, two, one, and make yourself go. And don't even think about it. And if you do that enough times, your brain will actually start to expand your area of comfort and it will turn into a healthy habit that you have, it's just become part of who you are. So go before your brain stops you. And I have a little um, story to say on that one that, that I always find kind of cute. I have a little nephew, his name is little Andy. And he is just on fire. He just go, 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 go. And we, I asked his mom one time, how do you keep up with him? Like he just, he's so fast. And why is he so fast? And she said, he goes so fast because he wants to get things done before he gets caught. And I thought, oh, that's actually an interesting analogy to how we should be treating our brain. So we need to go so fast that we get it done before our brain catches us and tries to stop us. So it's very important, just don't overthink things. If you have healthy habits that you wanna develop, five, four, three, two, one, and go. Don't think yourself out of developing your healthy habit. Take that action today. The other part of it is, number one is to act. Number two is to be consistent. So grit is living life like it's a marathon and not a sprint. So grit, that's another excellent book to read. And um, just really, really know that consistency will breed confidence. So you'll be more confident in the things that you're doing because you're being consistent with them. Um, and it'll also develop your habits. So if you are developing, if you are doing your habits very consistently, it'll just become part again of who you are. So being very consistent is extremely important in being able to reach your goals. So I wanna encourage everybody, here's one of my take action steps that I'm going to encourage everyone to do. Look at this chart. At the top right, who do you want to be? So if you're doing a 30 day challenge or 90 day challenge, who do you want to be at the end of that? Who do you want to be at the end of 2021? Who do you want to be as a mom or as a dad or as um, an executive or as a business owner, as an entrepreneur? Who is it? that you want to be. Not just what, not just what level, but what kind. Like an intentional entrepreneur that changes lives. So write down who it is, give it some good description. At the mid-level goals, that's where you're gonna write down more of the monthly goals, more of the tangible things that directly relate to that top goal. What is your weight goal, your fitness goal, your monthly goal? Uh, the amount of people that you're gonna talk to, the amount of um, you know, the amount of lives that you want to change. So what is that mid-level goal? So put some numbers to that. And your low-level goal, this is wonderful because those are often the things that we find on healthy habits trackers when you're doing a wellness challenge. 
So low level goals are all those daily things that you're going to be doing that again align to helping you reach that top goal. So here's a question for you. If you knew that you would succeed, what would your goal be? What is holding you back and what is distracting you? So my, at my um, second take action challenge to you is to journal about that. So the first take action uh, challenge for you today is to write out who do you want to be, what are your monthly goals, and what are your daily goals. And if you can, add pictures to this. So it's great if you have a visual about these pictures and put it up somewhere so that you always have that encouragement and a reminder of who you want to be and what it's going to take for you to get there. The second part of it is journal about what is holding you back and what is distracting you. And again, if you knew that you would succeed, what would your goal be? So just to summarize here, get into action before you can think yourself out of it. Consistently getting into action will create the habits that would create who you are. Get rid of unintentional distractions and unuseful habits that are not aligned with helping you become who you are. So scrolling on Facebook or watching hours of YouTube or um, you know, eating some different snacks or whatever, there's certain things that are not helpful habits in helping you become who you are. So we need to cut those things out and be very, very focused and intentional on all of our healthy habits or our daily steps that will help us achieve our monthly goals that will ultimately help us achieve that top goal of who you want to be. So take action. Number one, again, take that chart, write it out, put some pictures to it. Number two is journal and develop clarity about why you're doing this and who you want to be. And I'm going to add a third one here, just because I think it's really important to help develop a community around us and to reach out to other people. So reach out to one person and compliment them about a habit you admire or a job well done. Compliment their character and who they are. Encourage their journey. And as we fill up the cups for others, ours will be filled as well. So thank you so much for listening. And I hope this helps you develop some really strong, healthy habits that lead you to the path to becoming who you really want to be.